Hello, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to be uh, showing you some cradle strap attachment uh, ways today. Um, on that uh, Deering Sierra, I've got a, uh, a modified uh, cradle. And then on the uh, Deering Artisan, I've got a regular classic type cr cradle strap. Um, you've seen me do a, a, a review on that Jameson on the end there. That's going to be going away pretty soon. I've got a Arthur Hatfield uh, Aurora coming um, probably another month or two. So onto the cradle straps. I had a Lakota leather cradle strap and it was fine. Classic, it went all the way around. Um, beautiful cradle strap. I took it off because it's gonna go on my uh, Aurora. So I had picked up this um, Deering stitched, what they call stitched cradle strap. It's really nice. The price is great, $36. Brand new. It's a nice strap, fully adjusted out. Problem I had with it was it was a little short on these these ends here. It was, you know, maybe three inches short on each one. Um, and we got into some comment, video comments here on YouTube, and I don't, uh, don't want to go any further with that. But so to attach one that's not long enough, you know, and I'm five, just for the record, I'm five eight. I don't play it, you know, down real low. So throwing that out there. Attach these, it's the same on the, you know, the top and the bottom here. Over the heel, skip the first one. One, two, three, however many you need to go under. And then I've just got it over. And I just got this lay in there. I don't, I'm not probably not going to trim that. But here I've replaced Deering's 30 inch shoelace with a little leather strip that was a shoelace at Walmart for three bucks and that I trimmed. I just put it through the holes here, made the loop, put it through, top layer underneath, pulled it out, put it through the loop, tightened it all up. When I got it to where it was all snug, I trimmed the ends, I tucked them through the flange into the um, resonator there. So under, under, then it goes over and just like that. Now here's ideally, this is where it would cradle together. You would overlap them here and I'll show you that in a minute. But on this one, so if you've got this Presto style tailpiece, you can't put anything under and you don't want anything over that pressing on it. So you're skipping this first one and I've got this one under, 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 and then there's my lower setup is just the same. Just the same. It's great. Tucked right in there. Not going anywhere. Okay, so that's if you don't have enough to get that together. So here on my Deering um, Artisan, now this was a this was a piece of leather, so this was a five to eight um, pound weight strap that I made. I put some holes in it. I had a hole punch, but this could be any strap that you get. Over the heel, skipping the first one. Under, 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 and you're just going to lay it down here. Now on this one, I've got this Pisgah hawk tail, tail piece, really nice. So I've got, so there's nothing actually under there. So I've actually got this under the first one. It helps with uh, any wobble. Under, 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 and it keeps going, sorry, under and around here. And so to get these together here, the bottom one I have coming, and it goes under here. I'm sorry, the bottom one comes around, I got it going over. And there's the little end. And the top one, it could go either way. The top one goes under and the end is tucked under here. And together, I've got two holes here. And you want to get it through two holes when you're doing it this way. Especially with, if you have a tone ring banjo, resonator banjo, whatever you want to call it, heavier. But here, 
same way made a loop put it down in between two of them through two over up through through the loop tightened it all up ran these out and then I trimmed them and this I trimmed them and they're just tucked right there and it's all leather it's nice it's not getting in anybody's way it's not dangling down looking ridiculous it's all tucked in nice nice and again that was a that was just a three dollar pair of leather shoelaces over at Walmart all right so one more time over here just to see and over there that's how they should look, something like that. Right? All right. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day.